Today, Boss Ben and I are doing something, you know, we haven't done in a long time. We're heading down to one of our businesses we don't shed too much light on, and we're actually going to work it ourselves today. This is our lawn care and landscape business, and today we're just going to do mainly some insane mowing. I got to show you guys the property. The property we're going to check out, the city actually called us on it and said it's one of those overgrown ones where they find them, find them for months and months, and they still have to take care of it. So we have to come in and knock it out. Take the landscape trailer, boss man. I'll pull the tandem. This is one of our coolest trailers. It's actually a dump like box right here that you can dump on the side, haul like debris, and then you can also haul equipment too, all in one. So I haven't showed you the property, boss man, and I haven't even seen it myself. Just got pictures. So we're gonna take kind of one of everything because I don't know what exactly we're gonna need. This is our John Deere 56. This is gonna reach the tight places and hopefully all the blades are sharpened because we're gonna need it. Do you think I can fit on here behind you? You know what? That was dope by me. I'm going to go put it on my trailer. Going to bring the John Deere 330 standard ride on mower. This has a little more get up and go than our 56, obviously. And then I'm going to get one of our zero turns with airless tires because I have a suspicion that we might be popping some tires today. Well, not if you're driving that thing. We won't be popping any tires. Well, duh. That's why I'm taking it. Drop down, ready to go. I'll follow you. All righty. Put in these directions. Okay, we're good to go. It's actually not too far away. Move it or lose it. This is why you get a diesel. Do you even know where you're going? I think so. We'll probably see it, right? It's so overgrown. Well, you just soared past it. Oh, yeah. It's uh, pretty obvious once you get here. Jeez. When's the last time they mowed this? I have not been down this street in forever. Yeah, I don't think they've mowed it in the past year. Holy biscuits. Hopefully this neighbor doesn't mind me on here. I don't think they'll mind anything we're doing today as long as we take care of their neighbor's property. All right, let's walk it first. Put your gloves on. I got my jeans on, boots, all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's thick. It's hip high right here, dude. Oh, and there's some thorns. Be careful. Okay, so this is the side yard. Of course, the one person that doesn't mow their lawn, it's the biggest one in town. Yep, they're a corner lot, but we do need to do the backyard. I just don't know how to even get back there. Dude, they got bushes growing through the dang concrete. Yeah, that's not good. Let me... Do you, have you found a gate yet? I think this is supposed to be the gate, but... Clearly, there's no way to open it. This is what I'm worried about, boss man. We're going to run into stuff we can't even see. Oh, geez. This is going to be quite the day. So we don't even know how we're going to get mowers back here, but I guess that's a problem for later today. Let's just get started at the front. Let's bust out the old zero turn. This baby's got a 72-inch deck. Got, Like I said, I got some super strong blades on here, airless tires. If we run over some crazy stuff, we should be good. All right, let's drop the deck here. The deck is down. Blades are running. Let's see how she does. Holy biscuits. We're taking her out. Oh, this is crazy. How does someone even let it grow this tall? I don't know. I think some of this were actually in the neighbor's property, but all this extra grass and bushes, I'm sure, started to spread to theirs. They can't take care of it. Yeah, no, this is like ridiculous. This is not being a good neighbor. We brought chainsaws, right? We do have chainsaws, yes. You gonna get that? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I was just going up and down here trying to scope everything out. Sorry. That's all good. All right, boss man, I'm going straight in. Wish me luck. Good luck. Let's see you on the other side. Oh, my goodness. The mowers are actually doing pretty good. They're bogging down. I think, what, these are 35 horsepower. They're gas engines. It would be nice to have a diesel. But they it are so starting funny to bog down. Here. I just see every time you go through, just bushes around you fall in. I can't even see you. Yeah, some of them you got to go over and then back up again, and that way you actually trim them. Because sometimes you just lay them over, you don't actually cut it. So when the city gave us a call, they said the the fee or the fine that they are charging her that we're going to get paid was going to be $1,000 for this cleanup job. And what we're going to do is we're going to charge $0. So we're doing this job for free. We're going to give back to her. So she's not going to have that fine. We ain't going to charge the city. Is that okay with you, boss man? I'll live with it. It's, I guess, the right thing to do, even though I do like when I'm able to actually make money from doing work. Think of it as our charitable donations. So this is a tax write-off? Yeah, for sure. Okay, sounds a little bit better then. Dude, look at the siding of the house. The bushes have been grown up into it, removing the paint off it and everything. Well, we're knocking out the front yard, that's for sure. Well, this isn't even the front yard. What would you call this? Side yard? I call this a forest. You call it a forest. All right, well, I would say we're about 10% of the way there. I'm going to go knock on her door real quick, see if we can move her car. Because I'm worried we're going to shoot it with a bunch of, like, debris and start scratching up the paint. I don't know if she cares, but just hang on okay. for a minute. Well, I really wonder if she's here. The car, there is a car out front. Let's see. Knock on the door. There's no doorbell. 
Howdy there, ma'am. My name's Spencer, and boss man, my co-worker, we are mowing your lawn right now. I was just wondering if you want to walk out here real quick. I'll show you what we're doing. Oh, no, don't worry, don't worry. Yes, you got a fine for $1,000 from the city, but that's... You don't have to pay it. We aren't charging you anything for this. It's going to be completely free. This is what your yard looks like when you actually mow it once a year. And I was just wondering, should we probably move your car out of the way? I don't want to scrape it up. Okay, you don't care at all? Uh, all right. No worries. Yeah. We're going to knock all this out so you can actually see out your window. Yeah, no problem. We're happy to help. Happy to help. Have a good day. I'll talk to you when we're all done. Maybe some lemonade? Yeah, we'll take lemonade and cookies. Should be a couple hours. All right, boss man. Breaks over. Let's start on the other side of the front yard. I'm going to try one of our ride, ride lawnmowers, boss man. It might feel a little more comfortable. Okay, you do you. Let's grab the old 330. It's And I don't want to ding up our zero turns too much, too. I mean, they're very nice, very expensive. So doing this rough stuff, if we use one of our older mowers, shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm thinking, boss man, even though she said she didn't care, try and get all your discharge to go, like, away from the car. Well, yeah, obviously. I know what I'm doing, man. Fair enough, fair enough. Keep it out of the road. Where do you want it? Should I toss it on you? In the middle, and then maybe at the end we can bag it? Or just keep shredding it till it's nothing? I'm literally mowing concrete right now. It feels wrong. Look at this, man. These are like insane bushes here. Yeah, I don't know what type of bushes those are, but we haven't seen them yet. Hopefully they ain't as strong. Like they're closer to looking to trees than bushes at that point. She's got this gutter. I think it collects gutter water, rainwater. Surprised it's actually still there. There we go. My little strategy. I've been backing over the bushes, knocking them down halfway, and I finish them, drive straight over. And it kind of knocks them out. Sometimes it takes three passes. And we're finishing up the front yard. I think the hardest stuff is yet to happen. Well, yeah, we have a big challenge. We're just trying to get these to the back. The exhaust at the back of the mower, it's kind of more white than normal. That's not good. Uh-oh. Might be burning some oil. Maybe shut that baby down. It might be starting to overheat. Okay, I'll bring it closer to the trailer then. Yeah, exhaust isn't looking. Oh, it's getting worse. Dang it. I was hoping we wouldn't destroy any equipment, but that's what happens sometimes. Now that we kind of opened this baby up, did you see a way into the backyard besides jump the nope, fence? No, nope. I think the only way to do this is over the fence. So I have an idea for that. You're probably not going to like it, though. You hang in here. I'll be right back. Just have to head to the rental shop real quick. 10 4. What do you think? I think it's gonna work. What, you tearing down the fence? No, I'm thinking to throw the mowers over top of it. And how do you get them back over? We don't gotta talk about that. We'll figure it out, man. Just go with the flow. Well, I was also thinking we could, me and you could just toss this mower over. John Deere 56. But this is more fun. Here, you sit on it. I'll toss you over it as you're on it. All right, lay her down. Let me back her up. And I feel pretty comfortable. Go ahead. Okay, hold on. The things I'm not we liable do. for anything that happens here. Just nice and steady. Yep. Okay, I think we'll need you a little higher. Here, we'll start driving with it like this. And so, the only thing I'm a little worried about... Oh, this thing can extend. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a telehandler, man. It just looks a little different than we're used to. It's got like a telescope and boom, you're telling me? Oh, yes, it does. Heck, yeah. Hey, we're getting pretty high. I'll lower you down. Don't worry about it. There you go. And then what happens after this? I'm still like six feet in the air. Yeah, so I, you know, I only think so far about things. Okay, what about this? I'll lower you as much as I can. Let me jump off and then go ahead and just plop it over. It'll land in the bushes. It'll be a soft landing. Yeah, we have different definitions of soft. How is it still hanging on there? It's got, I put the parking what brake the on. Let me put it in neutral. Okay, there you go. Nice. Hey, it landed on its feet. I'll widen the forks as much as I can. It's a little rough. Come on. Here we go. All right, nice and easy. It's a little shaky. All right, I'm on the other side. Hurry up. Well, you don't want me to go too fast. There are literal blades dangling in the air right now. Okay, how's it looking? You're over. All right, I'll go like this. Watch out. I don't think this one's going to go as smooth. Don't Come bend on. anything. Hey, oh, oh it's uh, back up, back oh, up. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Don't hit the fence. Do you need me to kind of grab it? No, I'll push it. There we go. We got her down. Okay, there we are. Perfect. Drop the deck, fire her up. Yes, sir, we're mowing away. What do you say, a little backyard time lapse? Hammer down? Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, she's squirrely. Put her in fourth gear and let her fly.
boss man there's literally a deer trapped in this backyard what the heck yeah i don't know how they got over here they must have jumped over the fence we're finishing up this stuff we're gonna need a weed eater back here pull out all this trash not trash but all her some of it's trash that's for sure but this is what the house would look like she just mowed it every once in a while at the very least well, there you have it, boss man. We are done. Yes, sir. It's looking pretty good besides all of our tire tracks. All of our tire tracks, a bunch of debris still on the ground, and then we need to get these over the fence somehow. I'm thinking you carry the front, I got the back. Okay, this is only going to solve one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What, what if we turn this thing off first? Oh, sorry. Yeah, turn it off. My ears are shot. I've been mowing this whole time without ear protection. I can't hear nothing. Well, that wasn't the smartest thing to do. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I got the back, dude. I literally, your weight is probably 50 pounds. I got all the weight. The engine's back here. Here we go. You're a big boy. You can carry a lot of weight. Three, two, get out of my way. One. All right. Well, that thing's gone for Superman good. Superman strength again. Oh, oh, I oh, think I just man. pulled my back. What Move the it or lose it. Okay, okay, Three, two, okay. one, jump. There we go. We made it. There's like a 100% chance that those are damaged. I guess I got to go return this thing and get my truck. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Where did you rent that? Oh, literally the John Deere dealer. Not too far. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. This thing laying around. Yeah. I'm ready to roll, boss man. Let's drive back. Get everything unloaded. Alrighty. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching. Smash like button. I'll see you all in the next one. Hee <laughs> hee.